Yeah, I, I fell in love with it. I loved it then. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah, it is a beautiful place. Well, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, welcome anytime. Hi, Eva. How are you, Miss Eva? I, I try to unmute you. You have to unmute yourself. But well, when you unmute yourself, talk to me because you have a question. No, no, it's no, I don't have any question. Oh, you don't have any question. You weren't waving at me. Yes, I, I got what you said. Oh, you, you got okay, good. Good. Thank you. Hi, Breda. Uh, hi, um, Zarasustra. I was reflecting on the fact I'm Northern California, of course you're Southern California, and we're beset by fires. Lately? Uh, very serious ones and... Um, what, when did that happen? Fires? Yeah. You, I mean, you're not looking. You're not looking at your TV, I gather. I, I, I barely look at any kind of news, so I'm, okay. I'm sort of ignorant. But I get my news from you guys and from my family, so that's the only okay. time I get news. But well, go ahead are, and tell me. There are fires in in Los Angeles for about a week, two weeks, or more, three weeks, in various parts. Uh, now I don't know Los Angeles very, very well, so, and it's immaterial where they are. There are some up the road from me. I'm in Northern California, and in fact, my former home, uh, I'm not lit, we sold it and we moved down a little bit, but it's, it's in the midst of the flames at the moment. So okay. I'm very taken up, I guess, uh, logically and emotionally, plus they're kind of coming down the hills and trying to get a bag ready and get this and medications and the usual things that they go on with that you have to be ready to go. When they say evacuate, you evacuate. So anyhow, that's all the background. I didn't even know I could perhaps have the time to come and attend today. But okay. anyhow, we struck back to meditation, which is the point of why we're here. Um, it struck me very strongly as you explained, well, meditation is the active lifestyle. So of course, this is an excellent time for me to practice. It's so much easier when you're on your cushion. But right now, it's kind of where the rubber meets the road. And uh, that's the real essence of what is the quality of my meditation. So I just found it very helpful. And, um, you know, as a, uh, well, okay, I've meditated all my life. Well, this is an excellent time to actually put it into practice more, you know, not just the, the serenity of it, but, but when you're surrounded, right. because you're saying it's how you're living your life at any given moment. And of course, that's fed by the times you've been on your cushion or whatever else. But, um, you know, just to say that it's an interesting, it's a good time for me to hear this. And for yeah, all of um, us, we all yeah. have different circumstances clearly right. that affect us, you know? So thank yes, you. Yes, absolutely. You're welcome. And thank you, for, today. thank you for sharing. Let me, uh, yeah, thank you. I very much appreciate it, Britta. Uh, did, did everybody hear what she said? Can you hear when somebody else talks? Yeah, okay, great. So, basically, all the work we're doing is when it comes, I'm only right now talking in, in the, uh, uh, the frame of meditation. So, we doing the work, we're meditating, we're learning how to be calm and quiet and centered, which is beautiful, okay? But we have to be able to put this into practical life, otherwise it has no value. So, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to bring this subject and talk about it because there's a lot of different ideas and confusions.
people think if you do awaken or if you reach a state of samadhi and if it's long term and you're in this place people think that you're invincible and if the fires are coming down and they're getting close to your home you shouldn't feel anything or if you you should be uh, indifferent to it uh, no you could be meditative you can pack your things get your stuff get ready to get out of the fires way but in a cool way in a relaxed way not out of panic not from acting chaotic so there is quality you will be missing a lot of things if you are acting out of panic and chaos and fear and anxiety versus if you're calm and quiet and you're meditative you're still maybe doing the same thing you're packing your things getting things ready to get out of the fire's way but there is a quality in it one brings suffering the other one doesn't bring any suffering and personally I don't like to suffer so I do whatever I can not to suffer now that doesn't mean I go, don't go through pain pain is a different story than suffering you know you can experience pain because there's no way you live in a body and live in this life and not experience pain it's impossible as long as you got desires your desires gonna lead you to pain and pleasure so you're gonna have to experience both of them but suffering is a different story so that's another subject we can talk about it Hilde if you wanna hold me to it and I can talk about it next week and we can get deeper into the difference between suffering and pain um, so hold me accountable so I don't deviate and I go into a different direction yeah so basically it I just wanted to clear this I wanted to make sure if you get a chance later on listen to this recording again I highly recommend it the the Academy events that you feel affected you feel like there was value in it uh, thank God we can record these and I sometimes actually I normally don't like to watch my own videos <laughs> believe it or not I'm making confession I'm the last person watching my own videos and I'm so impatient and I'm and so I just go through them and a lot of times I need to sit down and watch a video and edit it and you know I sit with with Amir uh, or my videographer and I need to go through the video and do it and I'm the last person who does it however lately I've been watching our Academy videos uh, and I check them out uh, a day or two days after I do an Academy broadcast and I sit down and uh, and I sometimes like wow you know did I say this or this is interesting I like that I don't remember saying that so there's a lot of things you're gonna pick up in them that you missed the first time because there's so much so sometimes you need to go back and listen to something two or three times to really get it to digest it so uh, I do recommend that when you get a moment if you feel connected with this broadcast and there is something in it that you like listen to it again so you you really get it so it wasn't like something that went through and you didn't really understand all of it you heard meditation you heard Zarathustra said meditation is not an action blah 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 but you really didn't get it so listen to it a couple more times or one more time and really um, Grog. So, good. Anybody has any other questions? Anything else in this area or any area that you want me to talk to you or help you, if I can? <laughs>